Hey guys, this is Welsh Amethyst Girl back here with another video. This is just a short one to show you my new pond that I've created for some toads and some frogs, hopefully. I have newts in the back like I've shown you, but this area I'm going to show you. I've um, purchased some lights, I've got some decor, I've done it all with the plants now, it's finished, so I'm ready to show you guys. Um, I'm excited to show you. Here we go. Are you ready? So this is my front garden area. It's only a little patch of grass, but unfortunately it's not deep enough to actually plant anything. So I've just kind of gone with what I've got. So this is like a little drain manhole sort of spot area with some stones. So I've covered it with this gorgeous plant um, that's about to flower, as you can see. My gorgeous new lights courtesy of amazon.com as we go over into my pond corner you'll see my gorgeous carla lilies that i've i've had for a few years now but haven't really found the proper place for them i like to keep them in the pot because obviously if i ever move i'd like to take them with me um next to it which hasn't really done very well yet is another carla lily but i think that will come up bigger and better next year that one is a more of a purpley color and then got some fuchsias here as well as some a conch shell and a little snail pal and obviously my uh, Welsh dragon there as you know we've got to have that now over to the pond I'll see if I can put my light on just to make it a bit more visible there we go so here we are there's just a standard tub again from Amazon with a floating fountain which is a solar powered solar powered floating fountain that's also available on Amazon and I've just kind of created a very basic pond I'm hoping things will find their way use some stones to build up a walkway up the side and then basically what I've done is I've surrounded the pond with a couple of really big logs that I've cut and then in between those logs, I have filled with compost. And then I have some bark and some pieces of log. And then down this side, I've planted some moss. I'm hoping it'll grow, but we've had some really hot days and it's it's dried out quite a bit. So I'll keep watering it and see how we go. And then in the back corner, I've planted a miniature yellow rose bush. I also then have a half log another little lamp and then here is a mini bowl of some sort I'm sure it's like a tree of some sort I'm not sure what but I've planted it there for now just because I found it and I don't really know what to do with it yet so it can sit there for a while and I've got a slab of wood at the side there just to stop the soil going into next door it's just a basic setup that I've done just cheap as you like easy to source materials very easy to take apart obviously as a base i've used some slabs so it's very easy if you need to leave you can take everything with you dig the soil back up you know everything can be transferred very very easily and yeah that's about it more lights in the car lilies i think it looks really really nice i just hope we'll get some visitors there's my my tiger in the window shouting at me uh, again thanks for watching guys like subscribe uh, more videos to come i will be redoing my hair again as you can see it's a different color at the minute i'll be doing it again soon and explaining all about it then so look out for that video but bye for now guys